I'm joined by uh, a good friend of Nicola's, Emma White. Um, good to see you again, Emma. Um, we keep calling her Nicola. You knew her as, as Nikki, of course. Yeah. Um, and um, your thoughts, uh, uh, I'm interested in your thoughts, after that update from police yesterday, w- when you heard what the police had to say, w- what went through your mind? Let's just take you back to yesterday. So yesterday was a seven-day milestone. It was... Um, a roller coaster in itself. You wake up, oh, still no news. Okay, we'd already planned the seven days of big media publicity. We were out there with the banners. So then to hear just in the afternoon that had driven awareness, influx of calls, that hope was ignited. I, I couldn't tell you the feeling like something's got to come of all this information. We then get the news bulletin and it comes up with this hypothesis then that sinking feeling again and I just wanted to um, to quote so what, what we're saying is um, what struck a chord she said the search continues to no avail and then obviously a hypothesis is unlimited information and when we're talking about a life we can't base it on a hypothesis surely we need this factual evidence and like you've just both said that's what the family and us are all holding on to that we're actually no further on than sadly last Friday we still have no evidence um, and that's why we're out again in force. Yeah, I, I can sense frustration in your voice. Do you, do you feel frustrated? It's not frustrated, but you don't base life on a hypothesis, do you? you? Absolutely, you can have hypotheses, but then you need something to back that hypothesis up to become factual. Do you think it might almost have been better not, not to have mentioned that, to have just said we don't have any new information, but we are still appealing for help, we are still appealing for... Like they did, dash cam footage and the like, but actually not necessarily saying that that is now their theory. 100%, and I think we just said... We, we talked to the family, they obviously discussed that with the family. We didn't believe it was going to go into a live news bulletin when it is this hypothesis, so, yeah. Yeah, you're great friends with, with Nicky uh, uh, and Paul. What's Paul saying? Um, this morning. What, did you have a chance to speak to him after the conference yesterday? Yeah, as soon as we heard we said, what's the message? And he was just saying, keep going, keep going until we find something factual. And you were here chatting to me yesterday and you were so buoyed up and, and, and so hopeful because the police have had more calls, haven't they? They yeah. have had more information through. Did you, did, you, did you get any sense of what that information might have been? No, I, all, all I know, it was a, a significant influx in calls that they had to bring another 101 team in to answer, answer the calls. So when you hear that news coming from the police, you think, oh, my, there has to be a glimmer, of, there has to be something coming from that today just to, to give an inqu- a line of inquiry to go on. So when the news bulletin came, I thought, oh, we might, we might have found something that we don't know. Um, and we thank everybody that did come forward. What I would say is we need to keep it to factual information, like they could have received 100 calls on... I don't know, that's not relevant to the case. Yeah, it needs to, it needs to be a genuine factual yes. information. No, that's a good point. Um, there's been a lot of talk about uh, a tennis ball um, and that Willow loved chasing a tennis ball and perhaps the ball rolled down this very steep bank where we're standing, ended up in the water and Emma um, uh, understandably tried to retrieve the ball, simple as that, as you would do on a dog walk. What do you think about that theory? Uh, Willow used to love a, a, a tennis ball very much, um, but it used to disturb the walk, so they haven't had a tennis ball since way into last year. Um, obviously, a tennis ball, she loved the tennis ball, so she'd always be by you, pestering you for the ball. That it, it wasn't a nice walk when the dog's pestering, so the ball, the ball was no, definitely no ball. OK, well, that's really interesting. As, as a dog owner, I know how, pe- how annoying it can be um, ha- having dogs obsessing over balls, so you don't think there would have been a ball? No. OK. Um, and, and finally, um, what is your message today um, to people watching this um, who will share your anguish, they'll share the family's anguish uh, and their desperation that perhaps things are narrowing down now in terms of of, of getting Nikki back. What's your message? Again, yesterday they said they haven't explored all the avenues. Um, We've got footage missing from Garstang Road, which is just outside of um, the river, the way you come into the gate for the walk. So we're appealing again for anybody that has the dash cam footage, any information on that. Then when we've explored that avenue, then hopefully the police can piece a bit more of the pitch together. I know people will be coming out in the force today. We've had message after message and we thank you. We've got routes set up for people to do today. Um, We've actually overnight um, got, I think you've already shared it, we've got this eight, ten foot illuminated box that actually drove from Blackpool to Preston last night. It's going to be driving around. It's going to be in prominently in St Michael's today just to raise that awareness. And if someone can just shed a little bit of light to give us some evidence... 
that's all we're asking. And it's just a simple phone call. Isn't a simple it? phone call, yeah. and nothing's nothing's too small. But then again, don't clog the lines with trivia. No, no. And for you, you're not ruling anything out. Not ruling anything out, no. And we have to. I've always said, my children, Nicky's children, we've got to carry that hope. But until we find something, we can't. We can't go and tell them. We have a hypothesis. It's going to be tough for the little girls this weekend, isn't it? Very, very much so. And we've all been about the routine, so they're going to the clubs and doing what we normally do on a, on a Saturday and, and just keeping them occupied.